Parisians with a long, long history stat. French champions for the 14th time as recently as two years ago. But they've never won a European trophy. Gloucester have won this one a couple of times before. Opportunity, therefore, to move alongside Harlequins as three times winners. Beat London Irish at the Stoop 2006. Edinburgh at the same venue two years later. What a stand here at Murrayfield in 2017. But here we go, the first of two Anglo-French European finals in Edinburgh over the next 24 hours. Saracens and Claremont tomorrow. Right now, Gloucester and Stad. Just waiting for his opportunity. Dumeru nearly through. Maybe now Parise, oh, out of the back to Plissant and Dante. Intercepted by Johnny May, who has a procession. The Lord Bears parade all the way to the try line in the final. Johnny May for Gloucester. You can see it happening. Watch this. Johnny May's got one thing in his mind. He steps out of the line early. You can see he's waiting, he's waiting there, he's gone. And it's almost one of those where you start to throw the pass and you can't get it back in time. But electric pace. And as you said, the ultimate poacher. Meter interception against Exeter last weekend in the Aviva Premiership. And he scores first in the final. The stad scrum. We're going to see lots of scrums today. Obviously, the conditions, we're going to see knock-ons and and as a result, plenty of scrums, but it's such a platform these days. Now, if he hangs this on the wind, that ought to do the trick. Well, it's from distance, it's raining, and it's against the wind. This would be um, a feather in the blonde-haired cap of Jules Plisson, that's for sure. Oh, my goodness, he might just have done it. He has done it. That is a monster in these conditions. That is hugely impressive. The ball's there to be claimed by somebody. Marshall went in. And Stad still have it. And Genia over the top. Oh, and it might yet work. And Parise will score. That's the penalty advantage. Genia, a lovely skill set to be able to drop it over the top. They certainly needed to get back in the game. As we watch Blisson knock the conversion over for level pegging. Just sense Gloucester's cherry and white sails beginning to billow a bit here, Brian. Do you know, the ferocity of their rooking is, has been a real sign. They have to be careful on this one not to turn over, but they just seem to be barreling left and right, picking their numbers extremely well and getting over the advantage line. Camera got his hands in the way, comes away with it, and this time it's Stad with the interception. Dante on his way and scoring. First half for Gloucester, second half for Stad. Try for Jonathan Dante, and for the first time in the final, the Parisians ahead. No one was within sight of him, and he managed to coast in. And he's never scored a try in Europe before this one. Camera to Bonneval to Dante, and he's broken his European duck, and what a night to do it. What about the pink-fringed Plisson? No. Just five points, but, well, maybe a significant five points, maybe not. Shipped up by Bonfils. Once more, Dupuy just graying a little bit around the temples these days, but he's not lost his sharpness. Neither has Dumeru, scupping through, and he may well have won the Challenge Cup for the Parisians. That may well be history for Stad. That may well be their first European trophy. An acceleration stuck me up. Who was it? Mornay Stain was stuck on the pass, and look at that, the little hitch kick. And Marshall couldn't get a hand on him. Wow, that is... Uh... That is a try befitting of, yeah. of a winning, yeah. but yes, of a trophy, yes. and that's brilliant from the from the outside centre. He's had a quite enough game. He had a lovely nudge a couple of minutes ago, but that is a touch of class. Yeah, try scorer early on in the semi-final in Paris against Bath. In the latter stages of the final against Gloucester, another try. This kick to take Stad beyond two clear scores and if they don't have both hands on the trophy now they at least have one and a half 
still playing the advantage, and this is Damager bursting through, and he needs some support, and he's got it with Moriarty. 90 seconds to go, surely not enough time, but they're giving it a blast. And Burns takes the quick drop goal conversion, and Gloucester are going down, fighting. Yeah, just too little, too late, I'm afraid. Brilliant little play from Laidlaw, just delayed the pass to Davidook, and then we see them flooding through. Moriarty playing on the shoulder, and quick drop goal. Unfortunately, that extra little penalty that was knocked between the sticks by, by Mornay Stain a few minutes ago is the little buffer that they need, that Stad need. Really, in terms of the serious business, that was that. Gloucester will have to content themselves with a place in this competition next season. There will be no route to potential Champions Cup rugby at King's Home when the new season begins. And they'll be under new management, new South African management, and they've got some good players coming in. But finally, finally, on a European stage, it is Paris, and it is Star Francais, and not tonight, Gloucester. It's Gonzalo Casada, Star Francais, pretty in pink, the Challenge Cup champions at Murrayfield. And the team who very nearly lost their identity this season make history for the right reasons. For the first time, for Star Francais, a European trinket. They took their time winning one. It took its time arriving on the stage. But now they can celebrate with the thing they wanted most of all this evening. The Challenge Cup champions this season are from Paris. And they are Stade Francais.